Hello, Mr. Smith. This is Paul. Um, what you were describing to me is what you thought was going on was that you had some excess kitter welt sticking out of your track, and the kitter welt was getting caught by the wind. That's not actually what's happening. Uh, I already knew this piece of information. I'm just going to show you. Um, I'm going to pull. I actually nearly pulled your track out of your building because as I pulled yesterday on your enclosure, I'm you know I'm putting. 75, 80, well, 45 pounds, yeah. 45 pounds of force on this. I am beginning to get it to move with 45 pounds, uh, but actually the farther I try to go, now I'm, I'm up even higher. So anyway, there's no way that, that your kitter welt's getting caught by the track. What is actually occurring, and then once, once it gets jammed in there, it's actually very easy to slide uh, well, actually, oh, it would be very easy to slide if I hadn't fastened it down on the other end. What's actually happening is this is it's sliding out on you. So it's sliding out and getting pinched. And it's being pushed by the wind. You have a tremendous amount of wind in your uh, in your area. But I just wanted to show you that the kitter welt, a four inch flap of kitter welt, is not what's causing your problem there. There is a. Uh, um, it, 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 it's just not physically possible. So I just wanted to show you that in a demonstration. Thank you.